Hello and welcome back to the Mojave, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at a set of weapons in the unarmed class. We're going to be taking a look at boxing tape, boxing gloves, and the golden gloves, which are the unique boxing gloves in this video. I decided to put all these together because they're all sort of the same type of weapon and they all sort of have the same type of things, even though boxing tape can't be used to repair things like boxing gloves. I, it just felt kind of weird to keep that as its own video when we already have other boxing things. I, again, if you guys would like to see bare hands too as one of these, feel free to, to ask because that one has been requested a couple of times too and I keep forgetting about it whenever I go over the unarmed weapons. So these are all fairly early game weapons besides golden gloves which you can find once you get to the strip, but boxing gloves and tape both can be found all over the wasteland. They're usually found just in like lockers. It's fairly uncommon for enemies to actually have something like boxing gloves. Boxing tape, sometimes uh, powder gangers and raiders can actually have it, but even then it's still kind of rare, at least compared to something like brass knuckles or spike knuckles. Those are a more common unarmed weapon that you're going to find. For the base stats of boxing tape, this one requires zero unarmed and one strength to wield, which is great. That means any character can effectively wield boxing tape. I would, I would certainly hope so, since it's just tape on your hands. This makes it so you do 4 damage per hit, which is extremely low. It has 5 damage per second, which is also very low. These things don't attack super fast. This has 4 crit damage to it, again very low. 1 times crit modifier, so you don't even get bonus crits with this. This costs 28 action points, which is fairly high, even for an unarmed weapon like this. I don't know why it's as high as it is, especially since we've already talked about like brass knuckles and spike knuckles, and they have a lot less action point cost. Boxing tape does weigh only a quarter of a weight, it weighs 0.25 weight, so it is one of the lightest items in the entire game. Uh, definitely one of the lightest weapons in the entire game, which is kind of cool. This also has 500 item health, making it so it actually has a huge health pool overall, especially at the very start of the game. You're probably not going to be breaking boxing tape anytime soon, and even if you do, it's going to be super cheap to repair either just finding more tape to fix it, or finding a vendor that would fix it and they're not going to charge you very much for it. I guess you could even use weapon repair kits, but I don't think that's a good use of your weapon repair kits on any build, unless you're specifically going for like a boxing only run or something like that. And all of the boxing gear also has a unique effect to it where it can inflict fatigue damage. The boxing tape is plus 20 fatigue damage per hit. Fatigue damage makes it so once this damage builds up, it will knock the enemy down onto the ground and then they become immobilized for a certain amount of time. You can then just proceed to wail on them or run away or whatever it might be. This actually does make it kind of interesting for like a pacifist run where you're, or at least a no kill run. I'm not sure if you would really want to consider a pacifist run, but it, so long as you're not killing anything, you could just punch something until it's knocked out and laying on the ground and then you carry on about your day. Boxing tape does allow you to do that. Let's talk about the pros and cons to this weapon that also kind of span the other weapons. Then we'll go back to the other stats of the boxing gloves and the golden gloves. So for the pros of boxing tape, this one does have really high item health. All the gloves actually have pretty high item health. Boxing tape has the most at 500. Then boxing gloves are at 200 and golden gloves are 250, which is all fine. That makes it so they're not going to break very quick whatsoever. They all have the fatigue damage, which is pretty unique. That's, that's pretty good. Boxing tape in particular has two more advantages that the boxing gloves don't though. One is the low weight overall. With boxing tape only weighing a quarter of a weight, it is super lightweight and you might as well grab it if you can. You can at least sell it for a couple of bucks if nothing else and if you want to use it, by all means go for it. It's not going to weigh you down whatsoever. And then boxing tape is also considered a holdout weapon so you can sneak it right into any casino. Whether you should do this or not, I would say probably not just because brass knuckles and spike knuckles do exist. They're also holdout weapons and they are just way better than boxing tape. But assuming you just rush right to the strip, then this is fine. You can use the boxing tape just to get right in if you would like to. And then at least you have some sort of weapon to use inside of the casinos. There was also supposed to be a unique version of boxing tape that was cut from the game that was called Scarlet's Hand Wraps. This was supposed to be found in Dead Money and this one actually did have decent-ish damage on it. Not great because it went up to 15 damage. But that's still pretty high compared to the four damage that boxing tape actually has by default. For the general cons of this weapon and just kind of all these weapons, they do have very low damage and they have very low damage per second, so killing things quickly is not really much of an option a lot of the time. Even if you have all of the different unarmed and uh, melee perks that go along and make those builds so strong like Piercing Strike, Slayer, Purifier, anything like that, you're still not killing things very fast. The, the best thing that you have to do is just knock enemies on the ground 
and then hopefully it's just one enemy where you can just keep wailing on them until they eventually die. It's going to take you a long time to do this, but it is a, a decent strat, at least in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, fight with just about anything. Other cons is that they fall off very hard. There's no real reason to be using boxing tape in the first place because brass knuckles and spike knuckles can be obtained so early on and they are just a straight upgrade to these weapons. They just don't really help you that much. They even have really high item health like these. Maybe not as much as the boxing tape because I think the highest is spike knuckles, at least love and hate going up to like 250. So it's half the health of boxing tape, but that's still more than enough for most unarmed builds. And these ones have a weirdly high action point cost, like 28 action points isn't necessarily super high by all weapon standards. But it is kind of high compared to other unarmed weapon standards. Like, I feel like that's the same as about a Power Fist action point cost, and I'm not going to be using this over something like a Power Fist if I'm going to be using bats anyway. For an overall rating for boxing tape, at least, I would probably put this into the D tier. It at least has some sort of a niche where it's kind of useful because it doesn't weigh very much and it has a whole bunch of item health. So if you want to carry this around, especially with an unarmed build, and you're just like, I need to have something because I'm not finding brass or spike knuckles right away, and these at least have health and at least I can punch stuff. It at least fills that role where you won't have to be using your bare hands. Let's talk about boxing gloves and the golden gloves and their stats. So for boxing gloves, for the base stats of them, they also require zero unarmed to wield and one strength. So any character can wield these effectively. They do a massive one damage per hit, one damage per second, one crit damage. They have a one times crit modifier. So, oh, okay, whatever. They still cost 28 action points, the same as the boxing tape does. They also weigh six weight and they have 200 item health. I don't know why these things weigh six weight, but uh, that's pretty heavy for the boxing gloves, uh, especially considering boxing tape is just a quarter of a weight. They also do the fatigue damage as well. Boxing tape did 20 fatigue damage, boxing gloves do 35 fatigue damage, so you can knock down enemies faster than you would otherwise. This rarely matters though. Boxing gloves basically come with all of the same pros and cons of boxing tape, just they don't have as much item health, they weigh more, the fatigue damage doesn't matter that much, and they do even less damage and damage per second, so they're all around kind of a worse option than boxing tape most of the time, and I wouldn't really recommend that you build for them really on any build unless you're going with a pacifist run or you're going for a challenge run, in which case then maybe they might be decent. They have most of the same pros and cons, but you can't sneak boxing gloves into anywhere. I don't know why you would want to anyway. Again, boxing tape is just better than these. And that means for an overall rating for the boxing gloves, these are going to have to go to F tier because they are probably the worst unarmed option in the game. I would really never use these over any of the other unarmed options unless it is specifically for a challenge run that I'm trying. In which case then, yeah, absolutely, because that sounds kind of derpy and fun. Let's move on to the Golden Gloves, which the Golden Gloves, like I said, you can find in the Lucky 38. So as soon as you get to the strip, you can run right in there. And they are on the first floor. They are uh, up above the bar in the first level. So uh, on the casino, go over to the left-hand side, go up the stairs, and then they're just going to be sitting up there in a mantle. You can pull them out, and these ones look like a nicer pair of boxing gloves. They definitely look like they've been used a whole lot less, and they're yellow. Aside from that, they basically have all the same stats as the regular boxing gloves, though. They require zero unarmed and one strength to wield. They do one damage per hit, one damage per second, one crit damage. They have a two times crit modifier, though, so you can get that one damage out even more, which I don't know why that matters, because crit damage also doesn't affect fatigue damage. Whether you hit a crit or not doesn't really matter. It's just the total amount of hits that you do that affect the uh, fatigue damage. This one also costs 28 action points to use in fats. This one weighs six, and this one has 250 item health. The fatigue damage on this one is the best out of the group though, doing 50 fatigue damage. So you have to hit people the least amount of times in order to knock them out with the boxing gloves, or with these golden gloves, which uh, is still not really that good. <laughs> Knocking enemies out sounds fun, and it is fun, but it's not really that practical of a way to actually fight, especially considering the amount of hits that it takes to knock out enemies can sometimes vary based on the enemy. And if you have something like, again, spike knuckles or brass knuckles, you can probably kill the enemy before you would have knocked them out anyway. So that makes for a better option. Weighing six is still kind of high for, a, for an unarmed weapon that doesn't really do much besides knock enemies out. Yeah, these ones are also going to go into the F tier for weapons as well. I don't think golden gloves are all that great unless again you're doing a specific challenge run build in which case then yeah they can be pretty fun they can be pretty good in that role you're doing a pacifist run but even if you're doing technically like a fatigue build 
This is not the best way to inflict fatigue. Punching these enemies is the earliest way that you can do this, I believe. But you can do this a lot faster if you have something like a riot shotgun and you load it with bean bags. You're going to knock out enemies really quick, and especially if you put and stand back on that. Yeah, you're going to knock out anything that comes near you, and that can be super fun. And I think that build would be a little bit better and a lot safer to use than necessarily like the boxing gloves or the boxing tape. Uh, interestingly enough, though, you can actually use boxing tape for one additional thing. It's one additional challenge that's in the game, which is called the Deathclaw Pro Hunter which you have to kill five adult death claws with using low-leveled weapons. These include weapons like the 22 pistol, the switchblade, the recharger rifle, dynamite, and the boxing tape. And boxing tape is actually probably the easiest to do this without of any of these weapons. Because again, if you have the fatigue damage, you can potentially knock them down. And if it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight, if they're down on the ground, you'll beat them to death, but it's going to be pretty slow. So that is still an option because they can't fight back. And if you have Super Slam, this makes it so you have a higher chance of knocking those enemies down and then punching them. It's kind of the same thing with the Switchblade, but you have to rely more on the Super Slam actually taking effect, whereas Boxing Tape can actually just knock them down thanks to that once, and then you just keep beating on them so that they can't get back up. Tell me your thoughts on the Boxing Tape and the Boxing Gloves down in the comments below. Have you ever really used these? Do you enjoy using them? I actually do enjoy using at least the Boxing Tape from time to time because I find it funny just to knock enemies out. Boxing Gloves I rarely use unless, again, it's like in a challenge run or something. Thing, or maybe it could happen in a randomized run that could also be pretty funny thank you guys so very much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it tell me your thoughts down in the comments below and what other weapons would you like to see in this series i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll talk to you next time bye bye everybody